road trip to fire your source for going on your road trip to financial independence hey what's up road trippers i found a video on youtube i actually haven't watched it yet so you're going to watch it together with me what i like is i like i like to watch these videos where people spend money and they tell what they spent and as a european it's very interesting to see how Americans are spending their money. So I found this video uh, on YouTube. Let's watch it together. Week. If you guys are new here, be sure to click that subscribe button. Also, my Instagram and everything is linked down below. She had a great point here, guys. Please go check out her channel, like, subscribe. And while you're at it, please like and subscribe my channel as well. Thanks, guys. I also have a podcast, the I Love You So Much podcast with Kenzie Elizabeth, always linked below. So anyways, I wanted to do just from Monday to Friday because honestly, I don't spend that much money on weekends at all. I maybe spend like 20 bucks tops a day on weekends. She spends max 20 bucks a day on the weekend? How does she do that? How does she survive in the weekend with 20 bucks a day? No, I, I don't like that she's, she's missing out on the weekend. I would actually like to see no video of what I spent in a weekend because I want to know her secret. Um, I'm 22. I live in Los Angeles. Um, yeah, like I'm not defending myself with this, but yeah, I have no way to defend myself. I just, I'm, I'm ready for the hate to come. It's okay, guys. Okay. The first two expenses that I have, I'm going to do rent and um, my Pilates membership. So my rent, I calculated it and I spend about $287 a week. My rent is not the worst that it is in LA. Like I am in a house, I have a roommate. I got like a really, really, really great deal on this house. Yeah, there's a lot, 287 on the other hand, it is a big city. I'm sure it's expensive there. And she is sharing the house. She is sharing the house she's living at, so. So it's not the worst that it could be, but I do spend $287 a week on rent. I'm aware that there are people who spend that in a month and you know, I'm really, really jealous of you. So congratulations. That unfortunately is not how it works in Los Angeles. And then I have an unlimited Pilates membership. This is what I'm gonna get the most hate on. I don't care. I literally just don't care. You can say whatever you want. Try to get me to cancel it. And no, I'm absolutely never leaving and I don't care how much like, it's just the best thing in my life. So anyways, um, when you do the math, that's about like $9 a day. $9 a day is expensive, but I'm always in favor of just spending money on sports that you like. Sports is for your, it's like an investment in your long-term health. So I don't know if she has any other hobbies aside of this, but if, it's, if this is the only sport, it's her sport, it's her hobby, then I really would say $9 a day is fine. I know, it's expensive. It's worth it to me, it's what I care about the most, so I don't really care. It's, I either spend that much on my Pilates membership or I spend like triple on therapy, so I think it's fine. Monday. So Monday I got a car wash and I went to Trader Joe's. So I was working from home that day, so I wasn't eating out as much. Actually, I wasn't eating out at all. I went to Trader Joe's and that was $45 for groceries for the week. $45 for the week is really good. How does she do that? I spent a lot more, but then I look at her bag and it seems suspiciously little what's in her bag. So let's keep watching and see how she is surviving on that many food during the week. Um, I don't know how people spend like $25 on groceries. I cook for other people a lot, so I guess I buy more food than normal, but I feel like 45 is like a pretty average amount. To the car wash, I got like a bigger car wash which was $40. I think that's expensive, $40 on a car wash and it's like how she spends in the week. How often does she take her t car to the car wash? I have a company car and I drive it for four years and I have to switch to a newer car. And how much do I spend in those four years on car washes? Zero. I spent zero and a few times I wash it, I wash it myself. So I don't get how people spend $40 on a car wash. Including tip, that's pretty standard in LA. Like a car wash is typically like 30 to $35. Um, and then my Pilates would be $9. And so my total for Monday was $94. But 
I feel like actually I grocery shop and got a car wash. Like, what do you expect, you know? Tuesday, um, so I went to Starbucks that morning. I got a free drink, which was very exciting. And then I ended up buying a perfect bar for $3.45 that I didn't even end up eating. I gave it to Quentin. I got the Citrus Defender. This is gonna save my life. So that was $3.45 for breakfast. Parking was $4. Um, for lunch, I went to Trader Joe's. I got a wrap and sweet potato. Okay, so if she has more purchases like this, it could explain where her, why her grocery bag was so small and why she only got a $45 grocery bill for the entire week. I also vlogged this week, so if you guys are seeing kind of repetitive clips, that's why. Um, and that was $7.98 total. Here is my Trader Joe's haul, my veggie wrap, and then I needed sweet potatoes. So I picked them up. After school, I decided to treat myself to a smoothie at Whole Foods with Dom. Ah, $10 for a smoothie, painful. And that was $10. Then I had to fill up my tank, which was $55. Um, comment down below how much it costs you guys to fill up your tank. Um, mine's like between 40 to 70. It can go that high if you're in that bad of an area in Los Angeles. It gets really expensive here. Dinner was $20, um, oh my gosh, this is the night that we tried to go to Popeyes, and then we door dashed Chick-fil-A. I try to avoid all these delivery apps. I just feel like you're paying for the same amount as you would in a restaurant, but you're missing out on the whole experience of dining out, getting serviced. I think that's really part of it, so I don't get why people or takeaway food. I, I, I think like it's easier when we are with two to do that because you don't want to be the one that's cooking every time. So you just order takeaway food, but yeah, I, I don't like it. Total for Tuesday was $189 and what? No, $89 and 43 cents. I definitely typed that wrong. Okay. All right. Moving on to Wednesday. So Wednesday, I went to Blue Bottle and I spent $15 with tip. I got, we just finished Devo's, it was really incredible. Got some matcha. Blue Bottle matcha was amazing, but they just raised their prices, which sucks, but whatever. I do have a grievance with this. Apparently Blue Bottle just raised their prices, 75 cents a drink, and I basically sold my soul to Blue Bottle, so I was like, whatever, I'm still gonna go. And I literally, $15 with tip was I bought my friend coffee and then I got an iced matcha with oat milk and it was like $12.76 and then I tipped. That is so expensive for two drinks. That's really bad. So I fully agree with her. I mean, it sounds to me like she was just ripped off. This is something you would get, you would get when you're like in a third world country and they think, oh, you're a tourist, we'll charge them 15 bucks for two drinks. I wouldn't expect this in a city like LA. What what happened there? Um, I recognize that that's not good, and I just don't know what to do because like I just don't see myself stopping going to Blue Bottle anytime soon. I think I can cut it down, but it's just like that's not good. Yeah, it is not good. Just just stop going there. Never go there again. Parking, I spent eight dollars. Dinner parking is really what I realize adds up because I am in meters all the time, and I'm just like, oh, two dollars, whatever, two dollars here and there. But two dollars here and there really adds up, guys. Dinner, um, I went to Sweet Green and I spent fourteen dollars. Sweet Green salads are, I get fourteen dollars on a salad is really expensive, but if you've ever gone to Sweet Green, you understand that. We have a Hollywood bowl. I'm not gonna eat mine right now, but it's seriously the best salad. I said this in every vlog. I think I get one. I honestly only get like one a week, but still, it's like a fourteen dollar salad. So, Get you know. the bread, treat yourself. Yeah. Okay, this is like DoorDash part two because here it seems like you're purchasing a plastic meal, <laughs> probably very healthy plastic meal, but looks like it comes straight from the supermarket. So again, you're paying $14 and you don't even get a decent plate, fork, knife. So what's going on there? Uh, this one I don't get either. Yeah, get the bread. I feel like this whole video is me just like defending myself, but one, Keep in mind, people, LA is very expensive. And two, basically LA is just very expensive. Okay, Pilates, $9. So Wednesday, the total was $46, which is better than Monday and Tuesday. Thursday, I went to Pilates, again, $9. Celsius, I got a Celsius at Pilates, which is $3. I normally bring Celsius because they sent me a bunch, but I'm currently out of them, so now I'm buying them at Hot Pilates again which is $3, but they're just like so good. The kiwi guava one is next level. Parking, I spent $9 in total. 
breakfast I got for free at Starbucks with my rewards. Coffee, I got a coffee for $3.50 um, on break during class. I went and I worked at Bluestone and I got an iced Americano with oat milk. That's my new off, that's my new coffee order. And then for dinner, I went to Zinc and I spent $25 with tip. Okay, so we're at Zinc. I just got my favorite. Okay, so Monday she did grocery shopping for the whole week, but in the end she ended up eating the whole week out. Meal in LA, the chicken label, so good. Quincy got a burger. Morgan got an assortment of things. Who did decide? So that total was $49.50. Friday, which was today, I'm home. Okay, so I went to Pilates, or no, Pilates would be $9. Um, Starbucks, $7.83. I went this morning, got a pumpkin cold brew, sweet cream cold brew, very good. Um, I'm normally not into sugary drinks and I'm very into it. Oh, and then I got a breakfast sandwich. Today, for every meal, I'm eating at home, and then tonight, I know that I'm gonna spend $7 on parking because we're going to the mall and it's seven dollars in parking so total today i spent 23.83 when i don't leave my home i'm happier and i spend less money is basically what i've come to the conclusion of my total for what i spent this week was 324 dollars and 76 cents i feel like that could be a lot worse i feel like i've watched some of these videos and they're way more but with rent it is 611 dollars and 76 cents I think all in all, 611, it's not so bad. I mean, it can probably be compared to what I spent when I wasn't paying any attention to my expenses. And the fact that she recorded it will help her identify some of the pain points. I would personally, I would limit the DoorDash to once a month. I would cut the eating out more, maybe to once a week so you appreciate it more. And I, if you do want to wash your car, I would do it yourself because $40 for a car wash, oh, and get those uh, $15 drinks, but I think she already knows that. I think really great of her that she uh, told all of YouTube about what she's spending. I think a lot of people can learn from this and definitely keep spending money on sports, things that increase your health, your physique. On the longer term, they're definitely worth spending money on because you're like investing in your future health. Go check out our channel guys if you haven't already. Like and subscribe. I'm sure it will help her so much. Uh, probably not as much as it will help me since I'm a small time YouTuber. I would really appreciate a like and subscribe as well. Thank you all so much for watching. See you next time.